I'm Richard Ryan. Welcome to Survival Gear. In this week's episode, the Saber Cut Pocket Chainsaw. Man. All right, so today I got a little bit of a demo set up. I'm gonna take this pocket chainsaw and I'm gonna take this, this is more of a fire, firewood splitting ax than it is uh, to, to chop stuff down with. But um, a lot of times whenever we come out to the property, there'll be a tree down in the middle of the road and might not have a chainsaw. Having something like this might come in handy. So I'm gonna set a timer on this, see how long it takes me just to cut through all the way on this with the ax and then see how long it takes me to cut through with a pocket chainsaw. All right, so I'm gonna start the stopwatch on this right now. Let's get started with it. It's been raining a lot, so this is probably the most dry wood I can find out here right now. And uh, it's long enough where uh, I, can, I can chop with this and be able to get the uh, pocket chainsaw on it, so. F this. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, that's how long it took me. If I had tried sawing through that with a pocket chainsaw, forever. Let's just take this big oak tree down. You wanna see, see me throw a football over that mountain? All right, now that you guys have seen how strong I really am, we're gonna start the clock over here with some wood that's a little more green, a little more wet, a little more difficult to chop. So, here we go. <sighs> I kinda wish it was still the other wood. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Three minutes and 15 seconds. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna flip this guy around. The pocket chainsaw. All right, you're gonna start the clock. So scientific with these experiments. I can already tell that you wanna make sure that you stay, make sure that you stay in the same kind of lateral plane, otherwise this thing's gonna bind up pretty well. This is not working as planned. This is not working as planned. <laughs> I got a feeling this is gonna be a meme somewhere. Good thing this isn't a sponsored video. Well, it's, it's cutting through actually pretty decent, but if you're not just right, it binds. <sighs> so here's my two cents on the saber cut hand pocket chainsaw. Now, if you can afford the weight at your hunting shack, at your cabin, inside your truck, take an actual chainsaw. If you run into a down tree on the road or something like that, you'll make light work of it with a gas-powered saw. Hand-powered saw, not so much. If you absolutely need something to cut with but can't afford the space for a campfire ax or something like that, this might actually work out for you. It's really light. If you need more fuel for a fire, Something larger that's not gonna burn as fast is the stuff that you could pick up off the ground. By all means, pick one of these guys up. At anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks, depending on the length of the blade that you get. I don't know. I don't know if I could justify buying one of these knowing now how difficult it is compared to just having an ax. In my opinion, I wouldn't need one of these. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, make sure you pull that trigger on the subscribe button. What I wanna know from you today is, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And if you had a pocket chainsaw. Don't forget new episodes of Survival Gear every single week right here on TechFeed. See y'all next time.